Welcome to another episode of Old Echo Nights. Two minute filming tips, and hopefully I can keep this around two minutes. And this is uh, how to use Windows Live Movie Maker Part 1. So first of all, you'll want to go and find it. Uh, mine is in the start menu right here because I use it so much. That is what it looks like. It looks like a little film reel. And uh, if you're just uh, uploading a file for the first time, you'll just click it. But if you've been working on something, then re if you've been working on it recently, then it should be right here. So we'll go ahead and just click on it. Now you can either um, right here you can either click here to browse your videos and photos, or you can go up here, I believe. Yes, and here are your recent projects. And open a project. Uh, this should be just about everything. Anyway, yeah, it looks like just about everything. So anyway, we'll go. In, we'll just go ahead and click here to browse for videos and photos. And for an example, um, I did Chase McCain last time. There's another short one. Uh, where's that one? That like? I don't see it. Well, we'll just use the Lego. Oh, here we go. This is what I was looking for. And Andrew 19, Andrew 3's Lego multicolored missile mock. That was fairly short. So it will have it right here. And um, for some information on how to actually get the videos on the computer in the first place, I recommend you to check out my video for the Easy VHS to DVD, which does have a creepy few moments there. So viewer discretion is advised. It's nothing violent, it's just really creepy. So that is how to actually get a video on there once the video is on the computer. Thanks for tuning in. Check out some more in this uh, mini series on uh, Bill Rickon and Two Minute Filming Tips of how to use Windows Live Movie Maker. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.